Are you guys wide awake? <laughs> no, yes. Parents were like, please just go to sleep early. <laughs> Are you excited? Yeah. Are you really excited? about the birth of Jesus, but we're going to hear and see the story in a way that I think you are all going to love. So, if we could roll the video and turn your eyes up here, guys. God sent the angel Gabriel to see Mary, who said to her, Greetings, the Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will be with child and give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. His kingdom will never end. How will this be? Mary asked. Since I am a virgin. The angel answered. The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. For nothing is impossible with God. Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph. Because Joseph was a righteous man, he did not want to expose her to public disgrace. He had in mind to divorce her quietly. But an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took Mary home as his wife. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken over the entire Roman world, and everyone went to his own town to register. Joseph and Mary went to Bethlehem to register. Because there was no room for them in the inn, the innkeeper let them stay in a stable. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. Mary wrapped baby Jesus in cloths and placed him in the manger. At this time, there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news and great joy that will be for all of the people. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men, on When the angels left and went to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened which the Lord has told us about. They hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and baby Jesus who was lying in a cave. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born the king of the Jews? We saw the star in the east and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed, and he called together all of the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, asking them where the Christ was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they were Herod called the Magi secretly and said to them, Go to Bethlehem and make a careful search for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so I too may come and worship him. The Magi went on their way, and the star went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary. Overjoyed, they bowed down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, of incense, and of myrrh. Having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. Jesus grew to be a man and later died on a cross to save our sins. Sometimes 
in our world, people have a hard time getting along with one another. Have you ever seen people sort of arguing with each other? Have you ever seen things in the world that sometimes make you sad, make your heart feel really heavy inside? Yeah, you felt that too. Well, you know, Jesus came as God's gift to the earth to unite people, to bring people together. People that would never normally be together. In our video, did you guys see some of the people that came to see Jesus? Who came to see Jesus when he was born? The kings. There was royalty. The three magi, the three wise men. Royalty. Even the king wanted to go and see Jesus. Who else went to see Jesus? The shepherds. The shepherds. Everyday, ordinary people like me and like you. For 2,000 years, Jesus has been uniting people, bringing people together. Because Jesus came not just for some people, the special people, the perfect people, the happy people. Jesus came for who? For all the people? Jesus came for everyone. Jesus came for all the people, young and old. And that is what we celebrate on Christmas. God's love and gift for all the world. Because Jesus teaches us what it means to really live and to really love God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. And how do you think Jesus wants us to live and love? Yeah, with everything we have. Jesus wants us to share and care and love and heal. That's why we say our job is to live in love like Jesus. And we know that God is with us every day. That's the promise of Christmas, Christ with us. And we have something for you tonight to take home to remember that Jesus came for everyone. So can you go grab those things? Bring them down front here. We've got something for you to take home. And if you have a brother or a sister or a sibling out there who is too afraid to come, I want you to grab one for them too. What we have for you are little Lego people. You see those little Lego people? And they're sealed in a nice baggie, mom and dad. So. And it says, Jesus came for, can you read that? Everyone. Jesus came for everyone. And now these Lego people, some are little boys and little girls, some are builders, some are farmers, some are astronauts. You might even find a pirate in here because Jesus came for everyone. So you can put this little Lego person, you can put it on your shelf or you can play with it and you can remember that Jesus came for you and for all people. So can you help me pass some of these out to take a handful? And make sure everyone has at least one. Now before you run off and you start playing, we've got to close this baby in prayer. Come on. Come on. All right, did everyone get one? <laughs> Can you guys put your hands way out here? This is how we pray sometimes at Prince of Peace. And can you get your prayer fingers going? And when I say let us pray, bring them together, okay? Put them way out here. Let us pray. Repeat after me, dear God. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. For the greatest gift of all. For the greatest gift of all. Your son, Jesus. Your son, Jesus. The light of the world. The light of the world. The king of kings. The, king of kings. the prince of peace. The prince of peace. Help us, Lord, Help us, Lord. To, share, to share, to love, to love. and to live every day, to live every day. Like, Jesus. like Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, guys. You can go back to your seats with your families. Merry Christmas.